Audi Shibuchi. Here we go. All right. We're in the cat maze, and we have to get to the captured cats. Yes. But there was another path we were trying to make, and we died at just the end of last time, so we're going to figure that one out first. Do I have... Oh! Stop with the killing of me. <laughs> no! Okay. There. This isn't working properly for me at all. Let me go back and, uh, not die. Get that health back. Okay. <laughs> Going to exactly repeat the last performance. see why I died last time. <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep doing this room till I don't, uh, or till I can actually get through it without dying so quick. Because while I do have a health potion, I'd rather not use it quite yet. time anyway. Come on, wake up. from here. Yes, I can. Nope. At least, if I'm good. I'm getting critical hits. So I'm trying to get to the 
Yeah. jump. I think he sees it coming. Ah! Bright and colorful sun. That's warmth and strength. Ten times. Okay, so I can... Oh! Okay. So this took us back to here, which is good because we can save again. And get health back. Okay. Alright, so let's go back down. Probably the other way. Just seem to remember being less of a pain. I was wrong. It was not less of a pain. <laughs> Ouch. Mix. Die. Die. Don't kill. Die. Oof. Okay. Oof. Okay, so we can go right, we can go down, we can go right. No! Could I not just break out of this damn cell by myself? I have no idea who you are, but I hope that I can find out later. I'm heading back to the main hall now. Come and join us all there later for an enormously well-deserved thank you. 
So, I've saved two cats now. If I understood everything correctly, there's still another one trapped somewhere. Yep. Please don't kill. Okay. Those guys. Alright. Alright, alright, they jump. Yeah, I didn't have to waste magic on that. These guys. Oh, you. What? Yeah. You too. another evil spirit here to torment me? No, what are you talking about? I came to help. Can I ex escort you to the main hall? Oh, I can handle myself. This damn cage is preventing me from using magic. Why did you come to Cat Maze? I'm looking for a way to knock. You want to go alive to the world of the dead? I was expecting an interesting answer and you certainly provided one. We will help you, kind girl. Go back up to the main hall. I hope I can get there alive. Me too. Alright, so anything else down here that I didn't see? Doesn't look like it. I didn't like either path up, to be honest. Is one shorter? Nah, I both that thing sucks. Just gonna ignore all you people? There's ain't nobody said I have to kill everything. Not even you guys. My strength as well. I have a spell for that. Six, call it seven. There we go. Double-digit attacks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No kill. Dead. 
well. It was nice to not be dead. jump there for a second. Wow, what was that? I think the Guardians may have cast out all of the demonic spirits. Sure hope so. We get some extra HP out of this. Uh, Alright, the main hall is probably that one that goes into now. The gateway. There we go. Wow, you did it! Now Cadmaze is peaceful again. We shall banish all demons that may try to rampage here. In gratitude, we will share our knowledge about this world with you. I wanted to tell you about each of the secret passages, but you've already found them all. Yay! I want to tell you where you can find each sphere of the Dawn Goddess. There's a sphere in the green caves that are east of the village. If you can swim, you can find it. Yeah, I think I still need to pick that one up, don't I? Put it on my map for me. Oh, yeah, you did. I'm guessing it's that green one. Okay, I can do that. I want to tell you where you can find each of the prayer stones. But as I can see, you've already found them all. Yep. I'll tell you where you can find each sphere of Velas. South of Chenerbog's forest, where the greenery is overgrown. Chenerbog's forest. Okay, I'm going to reserve, find Siren's Nest and head east for a sphere. And that is on my map. Oh, that's up there. Okay. Well, we'll go uh, to those things, and we're not going to go into Nav yet. Because... Nav sounds scary. <laughs> from here? I cannot. Not through here, but probably the next screen. Oh. I'm making slime noises. Here we go. Ah, right there on this one. So it says it's here. 
So where does it actually sitting there and I didn't see it. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, oh, yes, now I can talk to that one guard. Because I have the most health that I can get. is worrying about you. Is she? We both guard the village at our different posts. I miss her pretty face so much. I could take your place for a while. Oh girl, that's a great offer. I see that you're strong for your age. I hope that you can trust the responsibility of my post with you for a while. And of course, I will not leave you without a reward for this. Run to your wife already. I can manage here. Okay, so of course I have to fight off 120 monsters. second here. Probably would have been a good idea to get more health potions before going into challenges. Just a little. Just a little. But it's okay. Oh, not okay. I'm very good. <laughs> Let's go shopping before we try that again. <laughs> You told me everything. Thank you, Elesto. I can't say how glad I am that you were there for it. Well, Ward is my friend. I couldn't have done any different. But I still don't understand. Why did the portal open in that haunted house? Because Volibor's rage grew to such an extent that it gave him incredible power. But he didn't even realize that he was so angry. It's to do with the past, Elesto. Although he tries to block it all out and forget. You see, that used to be our house. What? But the house is infused with darkness. Darkness that was caused by me, sweetheart. 
When I was pregnant, my husband went hunting and never returned. He fell to his death in the mountains, and I was left alone. I made the biggest mistake of my life by this time. I resorted to dark magic to try to bring him back. But the ritual backfired on me. The creature that I'd summoned was the embodiment of evil. The suffering soul of my husband, trapped inside a dead body, attracted only misfortune and darkness. And because of his darkness, my child, Oresta, Volibor is not just a foundling, he is my real son. When the people from the village learned of what I'd done, they came for us with pitchforks and torches. I don't blame them. They wanted to rid the village of evil, but then I saw life flicker for a moment in my husband's eyes. The life that I had so desperately longed to see in his dead body for several years. He rushed to protect me from the villagers and all the evil spirits that were circling around our house like vultures. It was only because of him that I managed to escape, and I took Volibor with me. And he died forever. His body was cast onto a fire, and he burned to ashes. I settled here and didn't dare to show my face in the village for many years. By the time I did, they'd all forgotten what happened. Volibor was assumed to be a foundling, but I still couldn't go back home. Especially since I had such excellent neighbors here. A kind girl called Alesta, and her mother, Radmila. I knew nothing of any of this. I'm so sorry. It's all water under the bridge now, Alesta. I try not to regret anything. And my mother? What if I bring her back to our world? I mean, she is different too. I don't think that will happen in this instance, dear. That's why I supported your plans. You aren't resorting to using the help of dark magic. You're scouring the lands for an honorable solution. It was so fatefully naive of me not to consider this when I lost my husband. Now for the final chapter of your adventure, Alasta. Everything is going to be alright. Oh. That was something sad. Uh, oh, oh. Okay. Let's do that again. Okay. I get more this time? Nope. No, I have more than three at a time. Fine. back here, save and try that again. Actually, yeah. Instead of, uh, I think we'll just try fire power. Savka will let me use just fire for free.
Come on, it's seriously not mushrooms all the way down, is it? You defended against such a strong attack on the village. I'm extremely grateful that you allowed me the chance to take a break. Here, take this. Received a piece of Perrin stone. All right. Defender of the West. Good luck, kind girl. Two pieces of Perrin stone. Gives a chance to deal a smashing blow. All right. So that means I have more chance of dealing a smashing blow? This sounds good. Yeah, that was a little too easy once we found out that it was literally just mushrooms. Okay. Villas. Maximum level of mana has increased. Okay. And then I believe we talk to the other guy and probably do another battle just like the first one. you the girl that everyone is talking about? Oh, I don't even know what people say about me. They see you're very brave and strong, and that you never leave anybody needing help. My husband holds a post in the West. I get to see him so rarely. Do you want me to take your place for a while? I wouldn't leave you without a reward, of course, if you did. I'll run to see your husband. I'll stay here and wait for you. And again. Alright, I don't know what's going to be this time, but, uh, gonna start out by trying the same thing. It's gonna be wolves. Oh good head. No, we don't want no 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 no. That's not gonna work for this. Not for me anyway. Get off. Stack. Stack. 
This one is much harder. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Whoa. <laughs> Very much on the side there, right there. Ouch. Glad that I could trust you. Here, take this as promised. Received a piece of paper and stone. The key items page see details. Good luck, kind girl. All right. So does that mean I have the whole stone? Yes, I do. All right. Okay. Ah. Uh. Sounds like we've got everything we need to go into nav. There wasn't anything else, was there? Oh, no, that's just the entrance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Things. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Here again. I'm passing by memories of them. in the diary. Yeah, just the time to write in your diary. I went down to the world where the past is confused with the future. I saw my family being happy. I saw myself alone near the prayer stones. And I saw a lot of the probabilities in my life. It turns out that they all originate here, but not all of them go to Yav? I mean, I guess. Of course, there's no way to get that high. There's another door. Okay. Let's see what's on this side first. Ah ha 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 ha. And... If you go any further, there will be no way back. Are you sure you want to move forward? No. Okay, so... That means this door is just the door back into the uh, Everything. 
Huh. One thing I didn't see is where Alyssa's dad went after we released it. But, uh, I don't know. Alright, here we go. Is Leafo dead here? Hello? Particular reason to go up there. Oh, hi. I wanted to smear you across the ground the moment you were born, Alasta. But that would have been too merciful of me. You've turned your life into such a hell that wouldn't appear even in my nightmares. Was the road you followed to reach the world of the dead worth it? Was it worth it? To stand here now, face to face with the spirit that took my mom? I'm the spirit of sickness. I sit in my empty house and take those who come knocking. We all have our roles, Alasta, and if my duty was to take Radmila, then yours is to die trying to save her. I'd rather not. What the heck? Stop! What? Fond of these things when you're doing them. Whoa! Sweet cup of cakes. Oh, please, ouch! How about you stop doing that? Whoa! And I didn't see I was that close to dying there either. Thought I was watching that. Okay. Let's try that again. Why are you dead? All right. I'm tempted to just bring the cats in. <laughs> I don't think they would help. But, you know. No, that was not helpful. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, so first off, we're actually going to have that health equipped. a lot worse this way than last time. Oh. Oh. Ouch. Stop being up there where I can't hurt you. Whoa! Also, stop doing that! Ouch. 
Oh no. Yeah, I'm dead. <sighs> okay, hold on. I only had two health potions because I used one. So I'm gonna go buy back, go back and buy one last one. And then try this again. These are going to be helpful for me. I'll give them a try. Let's see how they work out. Hmm. Now before I do this, do I have any stronger weapons that would be useful? Temporarily, we're talking a matter of seconds. And it doesn't look like it's doing that much either. Okay.
No! It's not that close to dying, was I? Okay, I'm dead. doing that. No. No. 
First off, get that out because it's only going to kill me. I don't know how helpful that will be, but it's something. Please don't. Die, die, just one... almost died a thousand times before today. I already doubt whether you're actually human, Alesta. Most people have the habit of giving up, throwing away what they've started, mourning the days gone by without striving to change anything. But you, Alesta, are something different. You're standing alive in the world of the dead. You're defying the spirit's law. And you continue to fight, even when you're up against a whole legion. Why won't you just die, Alesta? Because I haven't achieved my goal yet. Ah, you really are your mother's daughter. You know nothing about my mother. No, Alesta. It's you who knows nothing. When Cat Bain killed you, I saw your time here in the world of the dead. And why do you think he showed you that day when Radmila pulled you out of the well? The last thing I care to know right now is what was going on in Cat Bain's head. It's not about him. You've overlooked the fact that your mother destroyed a horde of dark creatures in a singular stroke. When I first came for Radmila on that rainy night when it all began, she begged me to let her live longer so that you could have a chance of growing up. Without me, my child will die in the wilderness. And I agreed. Not because I feel sorry for children. Yes, I hate having to deal with the young, but the truth is that I saw an ultimate untold power in Radmila, and I decided to use it to my advantage. I set a demon onto you, whose soul had long since been appointed to me. Protecting you, Radmila obliterated it into dust. She fought for her child in a way that knights could never fight for their king. Those creatures in the well were my doing too. I tried to kill you, Alesta, in many ways, at many points in your life. But Radmila grew into one of the strongest magi I've ever seen. And even when she fulfilled her side of the deal and left with me, not as a victim, but as an equal, I didn't come back to correct my mistake. And now you're meddling with my business. Just give in, Alesta. I promise to only take you at a very old age. I promise peace to your children and grandchildren. Leave this world now, and we have no need to see each other for many years to come. No! If you're ready to fight further, then let's fight. I'll never give up. If you wish to waste more time with pathetic, pathetic attempts at persuading me to leave, then continue with your futile words. Nothing you say would make a difference to me. Your words are meaningless, Mara. Only your mistakes remain. And as I know, you were too cowardly to kill demons yourself. So you let my mother do it for you. Every action has consequences, Mara. You yourself have nurtured the most dangerous enemy that you were destined to face. We create our future in each and every moment of the present. On that fateful rainy night, you created your own future, me. And it looks like your future is happening now. You broke the rules and set demons upon us, so expect the same treatment in return. Where would you go if I killed you here in now? Deeper into oblivion? Just know that I'd find you there too. I'll find you anywhere, Mara, until you let my mother go. I don't doubt that, Alesta, but I have something that you don't. The ability to admit defeat. I want this madness to end. Mother! Alesta, what have you done? I'm alive, Mom, don't worry. I'm gonna get you out of here. 
Alesta, but Mara. And the gateway back to Yav. The old rules weren't working, so I made some new ones. Listen up, Alesta. There is no way out of Nav. For anyone. It is closed off forever. No spirits, no gods, no ghosts, no chance of rebirth. Now death really is just death, Alesta. And yes, you can consider yourself dead. Or refuse to believe it for a thousand years. I don't care. Mara, how could you? It was you who chose to trespass here. Every action has consequences. You created your own future. Farewell. Oh. Uh, where are some of my familiars are out there? Uh, it seems we still have time. Oh, I thought I knew everything about pranks. Did you see what that girl was doing? It's not a prank, Lasavka. It's love. And now I can genuinely say that I've witnessed it. Hey, what the hell is going on? Mara has sealed the way out of Nav. Oh, and this is all because of that girl? Why, the little... If you finish that sentence, I'll rip off your tail. You should remember that you're all still alive here thanks to her. Who rescued you from these cells, losers? Now it's our turn to rescue her. And how do you imagine we do that? Mara has destroyed the portal. I cannot imagine, but I know who can. Take me somewhere. Oh, there we go. So, you told Alesta about Liko, and then the one-eyed monster disappeared? I left the martial land as soon as, that I sense, as soon as I sensed that something had changed. I could only think how this was my chance, my chance to finally break free from his control. I'd never have even imagined that Alesta could be, be behind this, and furthermore, that she is my daughter. Surprise! Oh, Vilas, what a parade of guests I have! Why are you without Alesta? Something terrible has happened on Foronica. Alesta is trapped in Nav. Mara has destroyed the way back. Firstly, you don't need to call me aunt. And secondly, oh, just follow me. Yes, I understand. The girl disappeared. But why should I care? Have you forgotten who purified that haunted house in the mountains? I didn't ask her to go there. She came here herself and pleaded me to give her the key. I questioned her intentions for a whole ten seconds, and I couldn't take it anymore and gave it to her. Have you forgotten that you were indebted to somebody in this very room? Hmm? What is this monster talking about? I'm the monster? It wasn't me who led a mob of angry villagers with torches. It wasn't me who threw uh, Veronica out of her home. Radibor, how do you... Dark magic wasn't the only thing you conjured up that night. I hope to be a positive outcome of your decision. Now, old man, I could bring many hordes of monsters to your door. Do you think you'd be able to escape from a dozen of my kind? A hundred? More? Oh, mm -hmm. oh you misunderstood me. Of course I care about Alesta. I will assemble the whole village immediately. I cannot believe my ears. So, Mara lost the battle, but still insisted on having her own way? And actually tried to kill the Lelesta? That's right. And we need the help of everyone we can find. What's going on with Volibor? Volibor? How dare Mara hurt Lelesta? Mara caused her so much pain and suffering. Volibor! Chernobog, it's time for you to clear your name. I don't care about clearing my name, boy. But I do have a long-standing score to settle with Mara. I will annihilate her with great pleasure. Wow. Oh, Veles, even Chernobog is here. Radibor, what you said to the preposter about hordes of monsters, was it true? Are you hoping that I could find us some extra help? No, I'm afraid it was just a bluff. I learned it from Alesta. <laughs> Friends, 
I'm thrilled to see how you're also ready and willing to fight for Alesta. Of course we are. She gallantly fended off attacks on our village coming from the west. And from the east. And I would have died in my bed at home without her help. But Alesta risked her life and found a wonderful healing herb, then she gave it to us. And she prevented me and my brother from meeting our death in the marshes. You think the marshlands are dangerous? I can't imagine how she found me in the autumn forest. Of course, Alesta deserves all of our help. I know of a ceremony that will open a new portal in Nav. We need altars. We'll build as many altars as we need to for Alesta. I'll make you such solid bases for them. They'll be capable of withstanding any attempts of sabotage. We need brushwood for the fire, too. My brother and I will scour the whole village for brushwood at once. No need to touch the village. I know where we can find some brushwood. I have a list of the herbs we need. Thanks to Alesta, I always knew where Sienna was. I'm happy for us to use the supplies I've been saving up my whole life. Thank you. We still need more magical power. I know of spirits who can help us with that. We will bring them to the ceremony. Evil spirits could try to escape from Naf when the portal is open, so we need physical strength. I will destroy anything that may try to get into this world. And I finally fixed the brooms. We can take everything and everyone to the ceremonial, ceremonial site on them. Yeah, just leave it to me and my sister. Uh, don't you need a sacrifice? Unfortunately, that is not necessary for the ritual. Are you, are you sure? I've got a couple of pigs right here. Do you want to say goodbye to them so badly? Well, I would like to grow vegetables. But it'd be a pity to leave the pigs so plump. And the purpose is for a good cause. Your pigs can wait. You'd better help with the brushwood. We need flames that reach the sky. Wow. Polotnik, Borovik, Kikimura? Why are you here? The punches to the face, or whatever it is you have there, were a good motivation, weren't they, Borovik? Oh, shut up. I wasn't in a good state. I have depression, as it's called. But we came here of our own free will. Yes, we believe that we still owe Alesta for helping us settle our differences. You've gathered many evil spirits in one place, feeling quite uncomfortable. Don't worry, we know how to keep them calm. You have aggressive ways, too. With your help, we have enough magical power to keep the portal open. I really hope that everything will work out alright. You do not have to hope. Be sure. Cat Bane! I cannot believe my eyes! I couldn't miss our part in rescuing the girl who saved Cat Mains. Is it just me who can only hear meowing? I will translate everything they say. Do not be afraid. They are on our side. Well then, let us begin. Right. And Liko said that he'd feed on Mara's pain. But then I saw his body laid at the entrance to Nav. Daughter, everything you've told me is incredible. I'm so sorry that your journey has ended like this. Well, at least I can say that I achieved my goal, and we're together again. But I've met so many good people, Mom. I'll miss them all dearly. I was so astounded about you meeting Achim. I had no idea that your father was still alive. If I'd have known, then I would have gone to face Liko myself. I fought much more terrible creatures than him. Mara told me about the demons you fought. I'm very proud that you're my mother. I'm more proud that you're my daughter, but I'm so ashamed that you had to go through all this because of me. On that rainy night, I asked Mara to give me time to raise you. Who wouldn't ask the same, Alesta? I never imagined that Mara would agree, let alone that she would add slaying monsters onto the deal. Mom, what's that over there, in that house? Wait, is that... Someone has opened a portal. Alesta, we must run! You... How did you do that? It's amazing. It's more amazing that you did the same thing alone. 
We only opened a portal to Nav with the combined forces of all of us. And you managed to get there yourself without help. Achim, don't believe my eyes. You... How glad I am to see you, my love. I'm in disbelief, too. I thought I'd never see you again. It's like 16 years ago it was just yesterday. Let's take our rescued people home to safety. I think that such adventures must be very exhausting. Yes, they certainly are. I'd like to invite you all to the biggest celebration that you could imagine. Let me set the table. And finally, my pigs. Let's just relax first. Thank you, friends. Do you remember when you said about how we all create our own future? Your future is full of beautiful, kind people and creatures, sweetheart. You've done a tremendous job, Alistair. What an adventure. Alright. Let's have a red black speed grease. Nice. Alright. This is the I expect ammo. I cannot believe that everything is over. My mother is home again and my father lives with us. But I know that the true adventures have just begun. I have to find my own home and my place in this world. But this is another story and you'll hear about it next time. You seem to be nicely settled in here. But this house is really missing a man's touch. I'll fix the roof soon. <laughs> Alistair, I'm so happy. Not only did you save me, but you brought so much kindness into the world. Yeah. All right. Home sweet home. It was abandoned when we got here. Demovoy repaired the brooms, but they were broken again during the ritual. Yeah, any excuse to keep me from flying the broomstick. It always seems like this bucket will be stuffed full of broken chips and not real brooms. our stove. I usually sleep on it. My mother collects various books about crafting potions we don't know anything about yet. I miss my mother so much. Alright. Ah. So I don't know if it'll gain us anything to walk around the world. Anything has changed. But we'll uh, at least go by the village just to be sure. It's been a truly amazing adventure, Alesta. I'm so happy that everything is all right. Still buy things. Don't care.
So y'all aren't even gonna see any different. Okay. Well, I think that uh, Svetozara wanted to say hi. After he found... gonna happen. All right. So it looks like we've uh, we've got uh, for that. And we'll end off here. That was a fun experience, and uh, thank you for hanging out.